Unforgettable First Time Experiences by Niet Galabay. In life, we encounter a lot of first-time experiences, both good and bad ones, which lead to a new and interesting discoveries and learning. But first, let me ask you, what was the most unforgettable first-time experiences you have? Is it a good or a bad one? Does it make you feel happy or sad? Well, let me share to you what I considered as my terrific first time experiences. This was way back when I was in my elementary years when my aunt from America went home for a vacation. She asked me if I wanted to go to the mall. Of course, yes. I've never been to the mall. It is very far from our place. It's in the city. But of course, to sound fancy, I only responded, yeah, sure. But I was so excited that day as I thought that would be the best day in my life. But I was wrong. It all started when we arrived at the mall. I was so amazed. The place is so huge and a lot of light bulbs. In our house, we only have one. I wonder how much it's monthly payment to Noreko. And a lot of stuff inside. Food, clothes, and grocery stores. Everything. I am so happy and excited to tell my friends that I went to the mall. Because you know, it's a very big deal for people like me living in a rural area to be in a mall. But when my aunt asked me to go upstairs, I noticed that the mall is weird. And here is the terrific experience begin. The mall is so big and fancy, but why is its staircase broken? It goes up and down. In our house, it's not like that. And people using or riding it were not bothered. So, I asked my aunt, Hey aunt, why is their staircase broken? My aunt laughed. Ha ha ha, oh no dear. It's not broken. It's an escalator. It functions like that. It's normal. Oh, really? How am I supposed to use that? I might slip or fall or get stuck in there. She held my hand and said, It's okay. It won't hurt you. While riding the so-called escalator, I am very nervous and my knees were trembling. And I don't like it. By the way, I survived stepping off that escalator by doing a big step. Like that. What a safe landing. And I swear to God, I will never ride that thing again. But because of what happened, I needed to pee. So I asked my aunt, Hey aunt, where is the CR? Oh, you mean washroom? Come follow me. Guess what, guys? The CR is extravagant. It has mirror everywhere. And the toilet bowl is so huge. How am I supposed to use that? Oh, never mind. I did what I usually do at home. The monkey seat. What a relief. But wait. How am I supposed to flush this? They don't have pail and bucket for water because in our house, that's what we use. And there's already someone waiting outside. What I did was a nice exit. I get out confidently and heard the lady saying, Ew, gross, that girl did not flush. And then I heard a flushing sound of water. Where did she get that? Is that a secret that only rich people know? 
Well, never mind. I went near to the faucet. And another weird thing in the mall is that the faucet does not have a handle which we use to turn it on. What I did is that I waited my aunt to use it. And I was shocked. She only placed her hand underneath the faucet and ta-da! There's the water. What a weird faucet. Then she brought me to a luxurious restaurant where there's a red bee outside. I know you know this. But she only calls it fast food resto. She asked me to order our food. Confidently, I ordered. And the girl asked me, Ma'am, dine in or take out? What should they say? Should they say both? And then she asked again. I answered, Yes, please. And she was confused. I said, No. <gasps> Luckily, my aunt came and said, Dine in, please. I wanted to get out of this place and just go home. Luckily, my aunt said that we will be going home and we will not be riding that escalator, but rather the elevator. Sounds fancy. I thought I can come down and relax, but I was wrong. When my aunt pushed the button, I felt like we were falling down. I pulled tight to her and I started crying. I thought that my aunt wanted to kill me in that place. And starting that day, I don't want to see my aunt. I don't talk to her. And I promise to myself that I won't get any closer to that girl. As I reminisce those moments, I laughed hard to myself. I should be thankful to my aunt. If not because of her, I won't be able to experience those. I won't be able to know that there is a movie stairs called escalator, a falling room called elevator, and a toilet with flash valve, a censored type of faucet. And I would be able to know that we should not answer yes or both when someone asked us if dine in or take out. That experience I had made me realize that in a very bad or unpleasant experiences, situation or event, there is always a good and nice part of it where we can learn, grow, and improve ourselves. Now, I am confident to use those moving walkways and other facilities. And that's it for my speech. Thank you so much everyone for watching and listening.